IVF children from a magical perspective. Can we consider IVF babies to be the same as normal babies? Well, from the point of view of the bloodline, they are the same as normal babies because they carry the genetic material of their mother and father, so they belong to the bloodline. The other thing is that they are artificial beings. In order for the soul to reincarnate here, it has to go through a certain path, a natural path of purification, a natural path of consolidation of all experience into the structure of the soul. This happens at a certain point in time. When we talk about in vitro fertilization, it is clear that it is done in an unnatural way. Have I made myself clear? It happens unnaturally. The soul is not prepared for such a body. And that's why, as a rule, if such a procedure is not specially planned, if there is nobody behind the woman, behind the family, who knows the subject thoroughly and helps to attract the right strong soul, then the soul will most likely get into the cell, into the zygote, by accident. Usually in such a case the souls are drawn from the astral realm. And the astral realm contains the souls of the recently deceased, phantoms, and beings from the lower worlds. As I've explained to you before during the fusion of male and female cells, there is a kind of conflict between the two kin programs. This conflict creates a very powerful funnel, which is exactly what draws the soul in. The higher the funnel rises, the more layers of information it can reach, and the more souls it will attract from those layers. When in vitro fertilization takes place, it is done without passion, without love, it is done mechanically and the funnel that is created will be weak. The only place it can reach and from where it can attract the soul is the astral realm, because it is the most accessible and closest level. In the astral realm, there are newly deceased souls who stay there for three, four, or five days. There are animal consciousnesses, and there are beings from the lower worlds. And usually the souls of those who have been conceived by IVF are such informational structures. But again, if there is no one to help and advise a woman, for example, a woman who wants to do IVF can come to the Regina of her kin. Suppose the Regina has special abilities. A woman says, I can't get pregnant naturally, I want to try IVF. She makes an agreement and attracts a normal soul to a certain place at a certain time. Well, my statistics on the study of IVF babies show, to my great regret, that out of 10 children there are 9 with very simple souls who came for the first incarnation and one more or less mature. In addition, many twins are born in this way because two embryos are often transferred at the same time. Sometimes it happens that the soul of one is more mature and that of the other is less mature. There are all sorts of situations. Something that hasn't happened naturally always has the potential to have a defect. It may not have a defect, but it could have one. Against the background of the general decline in intelligence, this is not very visible, but it is nevertheless something that should be kept in mind. Everyone, including newborns, has a place in our world. It's just that IVF children tend to be so spiritually and informationally poor that they usually have a very difficult life. They are not mature souls, they are very young souls, or they are souls that haven't had the time to get rid of the memories of a previous life. And these memories come out with unpleasant mental and psychological characteristics. Did I frighten you? 
What is IVF? Is it the process of transferring embryos? I mean, it's not hormone therapy, which is widely used today. No, it isn't. Hormone therapy is different. It's a way of stimulating a woman's body to come into conflict with the man's program. When their programs come into conflict, that's when the funnel is formed. An inactive female program or an inactive male program simply does not allow that conflict to develop. It is all about this conflict. Two cells merge into one, the kin program of the mother and the kin program of the father come together and create a conflict. If there is no conflict, they can't attract the soul, conception doesn't happen. If there is a conflict, a funnel can reach the sky and it will definitely attract some soul. That is why very strong souls usually incarnate in the families with very complicated relationships between mother and father. They are attracted by either very strong love or very strong negative emotions.